Very quickly, I want to give a shout out to our sponsor, Messy Modding Store. His link will be down in the description below if you want to go check him out. Uh, he basically offers all kinds of different like XP services or money services in in video games like GTA or Call of Duty, uh, Fortnite. There's skin stuff. There, there's a bunch of stuff. You can go check it out if you want to. If you don't, then it's fine. Other than that, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye bye. Hey guys, this is the Editor Editor. I'm coming at you guys with a quick little uh, solo money and XP glitch for the game of Red Dead Online. Uh, just letting you know that today the coin is here at Window Rock. So I'd take advantage of it while you can, and this by the time this video comes out, you'll have about a day, a little bit less than a day, to take advantage of this. If you're familiar with this spot, you already know, uh, you can go over here and get the coin. But if you're not familiar with this spot, we'll run you down on what you need to do. You're going to be able to get, I believe it's eight collectibles, and then plus the coin, it'll be nine. All you need to do is head to this location, and then stand about right here. Press the pause button, go to online find a new free roam session and the reason why we're doing that is because we're gonna spawn in a whole bunch of collectibles that aren't supposed to be here aka force spawning them and we're gonna be able to grab a whole bunch of items and sell them for a good bit of money now you can only do this one time per day on the PlayStation platform on the Xbox and PC you can do it multiple times over and over again but there is a chance that you'll you know break your collector roll by messing up the metal detector how you do that is on Xbox you would collect all the items close the game clear your reserve space for Red Dead then open it back up and do the same thing uh, and then for PC you would uh, grab all the things close the game and then clear your temp folder and then go into the game and then all the things will be back and you can rinse and repeat that alright so I spawn back in we're gonna head over here I'll show you where all the collectibles are. It's pretty straightforward. Uh, inside of the biggest house here, there is five items, I want to say. There's a piece of jewelry in here. There's also some other goodies as well. There is a potent miracle tonic up here if you want that. If I can grab it. It won't let me, but yeah, it's a potent miracle tonic. It's pretty good. There's a card right here on this uh, table. Pick that up and grab it. And then if we go into this bedroom, up this ladder, there's a card on this crate. And then if we go down and then on top of this chair, or sitting in the chair, there is another card. And if we turn around and go into this bedroom and then up the ladder, uh, inside of this chest, there is a piece of jewelry you can grab. Um, if you are familiar with hotspots, like collectible hotspots, this is the best one to do. Like, it's for a one and done spot, this is the best one. It's pretty lucrative. Uh, after we grab all those things, we can go into this cabin right here and get this card, card, get this card that's on the windowsill. And then if we go into here and up the ladder, there's another card on this windowsill. And then on or inside of the chest, there is another piece of jewelry. And if you have a metal detector, then you can grab the coin, and I'll show you where that is. It's right over here. I'm going to jump down from there. It's under this thing. Under here, it's a coin. And it's always going to be a random coin, so you could get one of the cheaper ones, or you could get one of the more expensive ones. It's all up to RNG to decide. I got a something draped, something silver, something. I couldn't even read that in time. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it for all the collectibles there. But if you're watching this video, like the probably the first five hours of this video being out, Madame Nazar will be over here, like right here. But yeah, here she is. Like I said, she's only going to be here for about five hours or four hours after the video comes out, around that time frame. But after you go collect those things, you can just come to her, sell these things. You do need the collector roll in order to sell, uh, but you do get XP whenever you pick up the items. So if you don't have the roll, then you can get XP for picking them up. And then once you do get the roll, you'll still have these collectibles in your inventory. And then you can sell them to her and get you money. Uh, but yeah, you can see out of just the few items that I've sold, I've uh, made a good chunk of change. It's a couple hundred dollars, wasn't it? Something like that. Not bad. But yeah, that's pretty much it for the video. If you guys did like this video, then drop it a like. If you dislike this video, then drop it a dislike. If you guys want to see more videos like this, go to the sub button. You'll see more. I learned all that stuff. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye. I ain't got no more talking.